Greetings everyone, here is Lodwig again and this is a game War in the Pacific <coughs> Admiral's Edition and this is my play by email match against Sagoon, he is allied player and for me it is the Empire of Japan. This is scenario 1 on game version 26b and I take a Dutch base on syllabus. This is now Force March 42, uh, means I have 4 weeks left with the uh, Amphibious Assault bonus to achieve uh, any greater uh, operational success by capturing additional pieces. My main focus is of course still uh, the northern island of New Zealand and Finnish Singapore, Singapore and Java. Plus in this turn I will also start my attack against Darwin. Like I said already last turn, I concentrate all my heavy units for pre-invasion support. So all my guns are really concentrating on enemy land forces. Ships or aircraft on the base I cannot damage. So I have here four battleships and a half dozen heavy cruisers and more. In total 99 ships making this assault, but uh, there's a cut. I think there's only a maximum amount of ships you can see in this report. At the end uh, the bombardment was successful from my point of view that I diluted or yeah, distracted the enemy coastal battery fire that they're hitting mostly not transport ships, so I have here only very light casualties on my side, plus uh, high casualties on the ground forces in Port Moresby. That is okay. And here are 6 and 9.2 inch. Both of them are strong enough to destroy everything, but not... I mean the 9 inch can also damage heavy cruisers, but not battleships. 6 inch can damage everything, but not heavy cruisers and uh, battleships, of course. So the unloading, these are two full divisions plus uh, pace forces and the aircraft equipment is also okay. Oh, one percent will always die, I would say. So that was a successful landing at the night. At least I lost only the minimum amount of ships or troops so far. What I was really not able to achieve is any damage against uh, many aircraft in the base. That is unlikely. But again, I was not 100% sure if we really have only this land attack or if it will go like a normal bombardment uh, spray around and maybe you hit also some aircraft. So now the second unload phase. Hits on the heavy cooler was okay against APDs. This is a little more critical, and one AK is uh, maybe close to sinking. But all my troops are more or less already on the beaches, so that I can say I unload here mainly now supplies. So there was an encounter because I have also some patrol boat there to more or less uh, lure enemy submarines or whatever Sagun have hidden in Darwin. This is a purse, no hit on both sides. Uh, Catalina 1 is over Darwin, scouting my positions on Port Moresby. Some small ground attack support in North China and in South China, because this uh, Chinese units are now retreating before I can catch them, so I try to slow them down. 
I also start my bombardments against uh, Bindering because it looks like that uh, Sagoon is going for a mountain battle of Bindering. So I want to try to damage the base, keep or well, forbidden, stop any fort building, additional fort building. So no airstrike from Sagoon. The air force in Darwin is maybe already, maybe he left already, or they don't strike him. I'm not so sure. We will see. I scout Darwin so get a clear picture if there is any change of situation. ship with uh, three shallots is going down but it's okay one ship out of 99 is still not much good and I also go now for the source western side of Borneo In the islands here between Singapore and Palembang, there are both small Dutch space forces, so could be enemy submarines uh, refueling or search airplanes hiding, whatever. But uh, torpedo boats are also sometimes a little critical. Good, more suppressing fire. And I cross the river, so I must perform a shock attack against already defeated Chinese Mongolian army, and they are retreating. Still, I have some disabled units. But not so terrible. I bombard uh, here the base to suppress or consume supplies and start to see how strong is the enemy but my heavy guns not really have um, much effect but uh, we have only the I think uh, heavy in, um, this uh, I think guns that you cannot move out so this is a minimum amount all others already left the city so I took Batavia easy And I also take here the port city in central Java. Easy, no damage on my side, all destroyed. Fine. More pin down. And a smaller base force. Also destroyed. So many Dutch forces are defeated today. Not a really big surprise, of course. That is a must take. And my Navy Guard units attacking. I saw uh, more units moving out of the hex, so I was hoping to maybe find here only the one last struggle guy. Uh, yeah, I only disabled some equipment. And, uh, yeah, could be better. Maybe tomorrow again. And this is Oast Haven. There are three base forces. They're also, but they're retreating and uh, I'm not 100% sure why, but uh, sometimes the game has this uh, odd, the game say maybe you could walk here 
between because I control this space and this space and this space. I think you cannot walk to this hex, but there's a way that you walk this way and then north, and there's somewhere a touch base. Uh, I still don't like this kind of retreat mechanic, but okay. The forces are defeated and Ostheben is under control. Rangoon get the air base of 8, means turn, next turn I can double my AV. So I can uh, transfer more AV to central north Burma to build up my air bases there. At the end, not really much activity, at least not in the air. Oops, no, no. So I had one air losses, mainly I think we were bendering. Flag kill is most of the time also a pilot kill. Ship sunk, one of my smaller standard. This is my typical amphibious assault cargo ship I use for enemy. Bases where I know there's enemy heavy coastal battery, 6 inch, 9 inch, something like this. These are ships, they have low value, but they can transport 1000 troops. Um, so, and this ship you can see here was sunk by a 9 inch. This was the, maybe the last hit. Sometimes it's a little messy. It can also be the 6 inch first, 9 inch later, or different. At least this ship got a hit by a 9 inch and this creates so much damage that the ship is going down. It's okay. I would guess this is enough to sink a small cargo ship. So in China, Chinese Mongolian against Japanese Mongolian army, Japan is uh, moving forward. The rest here in central is moving. I move one division here north to this hex. And then source again because this is a slow trail. It's faster to move to this hex and then cross. So I hope to take here the dot base and then I can maybe also bog up this Chinese unit. So this division would be, I guess, enough to defeat this Chinese not so strong two units and then maybe take with this HQ and the other division with artillery support also this uh, block force on. So, but I would guess one week or two weeks to finish all of these two block forces. My, I don't know, my Wenchao army is still on the way. I have here now only a, yeah, a smaller independent unit. I don't know if they are strong enough to fight here in this rough terrain. But I can try to defeat this Chinese. I have time. If, the, if my unit cannot uh, achieve a victory, I must wait for the Venture Army. And the Chinese are retreating. So these are the only two hexes with clear terrain where I can use uh, Air Force. Once they are out of these hexes, I will better, better train my pilots uh, not trying to achieve something nearly impossible. In Burma, I was not able to destroy these units. I kick them a little, maybe tomorrow. I only I thought the Thai would arrive, but somehow they only making two miles last turn, I think. So I miss one mile. One mile more on this unit would have a make a shock attack and then it would be enough to defeat the British maybe. No yeah, maybe two more. So the biggest change or the biggest blunder of the day I would say was Batavia. I achieved a victory, but unluckily I blow up some of my industry. So uh, I mean not super terrible, but three out of twenty. So yeah, fifteen percent damage I would say is acceptable. Better than sore buyer. So. Still a victory. Here was no industry. This base is much more trashed. I mean, at least the base infrastructure that I needed. Uh, I must clean now the mines of Batavia. Uh, o Seven has also no industry, so it doesn't matter. So I, but I took here light industry, a little heavy industry, some resources, and a little more manpower. Manpower no one needs, but it's okay. 
So this was here the story. He is also only a base, nothing more. And Darwin, most important is I was able to unload roughly 1000 attack value. I have enough supplies to make 3 4 attacks if it's necessary. Uh, only smaller issue was the one division was the unloading in uh, subunits, so I must I will build them now here. And this unit suffer, I think, also the highest casualties. You can see that uh, here are nine infantry squads mission missing, and also the heavy guys lost one, and one of my tank anti tank gun is destroyed. Yeah, one. So this division lost a little equipment. And this one lost also, now I'm at 319 with the disabled, so 5 units here more disabled. And, but overall I would say that is acceptable. Um, and I can see that there is a, not too much waiting, 20,000 guys. I would always roughly say that maybe maximum 50% is combat unit, but often it's only one third. And you can see if one the Japanese division have he is roughly 50-50, and this is the division. I think this is a heavy hitter. So, here is maximum, I think, say, there's some AVs, but not many. There's not a heavy tank unit, so maybe 400 AVs here. We will see tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and unluckily, there are here over 100 airplanes on the ground, but I make no damage at all, and this is, of course, double pity. Because Darwin have not a real connection to the mainland or main bases in the source, so if they are damaged, Sagun could only raise them to this dot base or to the Katerina. Catherine. Uh, but then it's the end of the rail. And I'm not so sure if there's anything because the airbase looks like not built up at all. But again, I cannot change it. I save my troops and ships, let's say this. So my cover force, no damage, no damage, no damage. This is the invasion fleet. I can maybe go for this. So what is damage is this APD, there's other APD, but they are both fine, they have no fire. This cargo ship is also without fire. This is my typical cargo transport loading ships. So this ship will go down. This is the only ship, this is the second type ship I will lose here. The fire is I think too heavy to get it under control. I must, if I have now Darwin I would stand it down and then there's a chance. But I must first take the base next turn so the fire will consume more and more of the system damage. It's possible but unlikely. Most important is what I have to do of course is stop unloading of any additional supplies so there's no in additional shelling, even if I have a lot of supplies still here ready to unload. But I have over 10,000 supplies, so I don't need more. And my ships have no uh, ammunition left, so I would not suppress any uh, ground forces. There is no primary and secondary main battery. Only I could use now this uh, anti aircraft equipment. But uh, I think this have not really much impact. Good, at the end, a successful uh, unloading of my troops. That is number one goal. Everything else is bonus. In Gisborne is also unloading, highest priority, and I'm nearly finished. Yeah, there's only a little supplies and a little... Uh, yeah, 10 centimeter guns. and other guns. So some heavy equipment must unload, but I think tomorrow it's finished. Uh, maybe I wait one more turn to unload this heavy equipment, then I walk out. At the same time, I would guess I have the airfield finished or very close to finish them. Once I have a level airfield two, I could run active missions out of this with not I don't really need it, but I would say it would be possible. But like this, in two turns, I can walk out of Gisborne and start my march on Hamilton and Auckland. 
at the same time more ships arriving uh, for the second invasion here in the north tip of New Zealand maybe in three turns good anything else not really no sub activity I mean there was sub activity at the uh, purse but at the end uh, nothing no achievement Okay, then see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.